Hi guys, this is Gata here. I just wanted to share some little inspiration with you guys. Um, just because this week as I'm teaching a yin teacher training in a house where we have been last year, a nice villa on, on top of the hills of Santa Lalia, really overlooking the beautiful scenery and the whole sea. And um, just being on the same ground uh, just now as we did earth practice and um, earlier this morning we did wood just made me realize how I was walking in the same garden on the same soil not the same grass obviously because well it has been a year ago so the grass grew and has been cut in between but made me realize like last year at that moment I was only dreaming that I could live on this beautiful island and I was planting that seed in my heart and on my inner landscape and I was every day giving water to it symbolically nourishing my vision every day sometimes doubting about it if it's possible for me or postponing that maybe in some years when my kids are going to be out of school and they might not be shaken by another change because maybe it will shake them again another country and so my mind was telling me probably it's not possible for now and the things went in a different way because I followed my heart and because every day I was connecting to my vision and so according to the Chinese there are five elements different from the Ayurvedic five elements one of these five elements is wood wood where, which you don't have in Ayurveda and that wood element for me is something that is very strong in me. <laughs> wood is about creation. Wood is about branching out. Wood is about renewal. And wood is about uh, overcoming obstacle, resistance, and finding a free, joyful expression of your own creativity. And so one of my biggest passion is really to inspire people um, with that message that I carry on my shirt today, the just do it or you can do it. So whatever vision you carry in your heart, every day do something, commit to do something for it and step by step work towards it. There's no one that needs to approve your dream. No one that needs to say your dream is right. Maybe your dream is wrong in the eyes of a lot of people, but if you feel this is your dream, you have the right to go for it. And I can't really tell you how happy I am every day to wake up by the sea, which was for me a dream of my childhood. And it took me 40 years to realize it. And sometimes I totally forget it along the way. And it came back to me two years ago, basically four years ago when we first went to Mallorca and then two years ago when we first came to Ibiza, like, wow, what a life it would be to live in this island oh but it's not for me it's not for me i don't have the money i don't have this i don't have that you know all of that i have responsibilities here there everywhere it's not possible and here i am today and we made it and we are happy here and we feel support we feel nourishment on this beautiful island it really feels like the place to be because it was meant to be it was a dream for my heart and i dare to follow my heart so, you know, there has been challenges on the way. Um, it's never gonna be easy. It has not been easy. But if you have a dream, then go for it. That's my advice for today. Use the wood element, use mantras, yoga practice, intentions every day, use a little altar, and just make your dreams happen. Because if you are happy with your dreams, and living your dream, you will empower other people to do so as well. So we all get out of this mental slavery and we all become this authentic people going for their joy and sharing joy with other people. So thanks guys. Much love from Ibiza. But now I feel blessed to call my home and just take my inspiration and be inspired to go for your dreams and if you don't know what is your dream 
then um, just take some time for yourself. Create space for yourself in your life. Release all the other people's stuff from your heart, from your body, from your mind. So you have time and space to connect with you. And then your dream will arise for you. Namaste.